Hey everybody, it's Alan from Mississippi Gateway Regional Park. Today on my neighborhood nature walk, I came across some of these. Now, these are of course acorn caps, and these happen to be from northern red oak trees, as opposed to uh, a cap like this, which is from a bur oak. The red oak acorn caps are flatter and smoother, um, and they tend to last a little bit better through the winter. Um, bur oak acorn caps are bumpier and deeper, and most of them have been chewed. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a whistling sound, a whistle, from an acorn cap. Something, it sounds something like this. Now, it's a nice loud piercing whistle, not something you want to do inside. Um, to make a whistle with your acorn cap, first you're going to need an intact acorn cap. Um, and you're going to put your thumbs together at the knuckles. When you're holding the acorn cap, you're going to want those touching knuckles to be centered over the middle of the acorn cap and then spread the tips of your fingers apart so that you have kind of a high shaped wedge of space. You'll want to have the rest of your thumb sealed around the edge of that acorn cap so you just have that triangular space open and I'll have some pictures attached. And then you're going to rest your lower lip on your knuckles and blow into that space. You might have to adjust your angle a little bit. Of course, it doesn't always work the first time, right? But soon, if you keep trying, you'll get a nice loud whistle. Have a good time. Hope you enjoy looking for acorn caps in your neighborhood, and I'll see you next time.